one other, whom grace would again bless. A tarnished of no renown. Welcome, all you lovely people of the internet. I know we're back here. Welcome. It's my third episode on this amazing game called Elden Ring. Welcome, as we make our return to the lands between. So I've spent some time in the game, and I figured something out. Mounted combat is insanely overpowered. Like, I actually think I can take this guy on, that's why I'm fighting him right now. Oh, holy crap. Or not! I actually got him down pretty far on his health, but, um... He's pretty tough to take on. Especially at this level, it'll probably be easier later on. You know what, let's actually try fighting him. Yeah. Mm, he's definitely one to save for later. Okay. This is another thing I noticed. The game actually shows you these things pointing and telling you kind of where you need to go. It gives you a good direction of what you should be doing, which wants me to head up to this castle, because that's where the, you know, the big boss is going to be. And this is a starting area. I thought it was this other, this island here, but no, it's it's this one, It because it, it, the layout's the same. But remember, there's this thing, you go from that, there's the graveyard where you get killed first, and then the game starts. And, I know this is a boss or something here, because there is a summon sign. Which I'm going to summon because I have no idea what I'm doing and I'd like to have some help. Now there's a difference between NPC summons and game, like other people. You can co-op with people, especially in bosses, but other times, and throughout all the Soulsborne games, you can always... some bosses will offer you to get a NPC summon, which is not a... not controlled by another player, it's the game, which sometimes can be really helpful. I actually have a really funny story about that in uh, Dark Souls. Yep, this is a boss of some kind. Oh, is this the thing that killed me in the beginning? In search of the Elden Ring. You. Emboldened uh, by the flame of ambition. Nice knowing you guys. Someone must extinguish thy flame. Let it be Margit the Fell. Oh, I've heard this guy's really tough. I'm going to be. I'm going to be using this run to kind of move set. Uh, I do not get enough. I don't have enough. I don't do enough damage to actually do much to him. 
Makes me wonder if I'm not really supposed to be fighting him just yet. And I'm sorry if I'm not going to be talking that much. But this is probably one of the first real, like, Souls one boss fights. He's probably going to kill me a lot. Uh, I can almost promise that. It's also important to know, if you aren't doing like 100, 200 damage on a boss, and you're not at least taking out 5% of the health bar with each hit, it is somewhere close to that. You're probably not supposed to be fighting them, is what that basically means. I mean, I'm doing quite well with dodging, but this is not a fight I should probably be engaging with just yet. Yep. I'm not angry because there is just no way, unless you really want to sit there. Yep, that didn't help me. <laughs> I have no expectation to beat him. Uh, another important thing. He's pretty slow at a lot of points. So see right there, I can dodge his attacks at some points. I should have switched doing a lot better here. See, he's a fairly slow boss that he's going to hit you with a lot of powerful attacks not necessarily so yeah see he'll hit you and tank your <laughs> he'll tank your health bar and oh oh hello forgive me I've been testing you yeah so does to every see woman whether in my life. or not grace truly does guide you and whether you are fit to face the challenge that entails. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start, whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the round table hole, gathering place of tarnished champions, guided by grace. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you. Oh, is this the, the um... Okay, so when I was out and about doing my own thing, there was this round building that I couldn't get into. Uh, I think this is what it is, because there was also the uh, player versus player item there. So if you wanted to, like, go into another person's... Yep, yep, I think this is it. Oh, so this is our... Firelink Shrine, our Hunter's Dream. Yeah, this is the this is this game's hub world, which is pretty cool. So we had to like prove ourselves or something. I see you've just arrived. Welcome to the Round Table Hold. I'm Corin. Well, what do you say? Care to learn an incantation of the two fingers? So here is where we can learn magic. I actually picked up some stuff. So, and I'm broke. I've noticed there is a lot more talking and dialogue in this game. Um, and the story's been a bit more forward-facing than, like, hidden and everything. So, they don't really seem to want the story to be as behind the doors, closed doors, as, like, Bloodborne or Dark Souls, where you have to really read into um, all sorts of things. You have to read into item descriptions, uh, the, way the, the way the environment is set up, like... You have to, like, deduce things from very small details, where this game is kind of just telling you everything. I already know most of the story, at least the outward story. There's probably a lot of stuff hidden behind other details that isn't super oh, this expressed. Is a rare occasion. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but yeah, I hope you get what I'm saying. Time and you 
tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. Ah, man of the forge. Your new face. No matter. It's all the same. Lay out your arms. I. I don't know. This is fascinating. I didn't actually think there would be this, like this kind of place in the game. But... That's what I found these things that uh, that must be what it's for. So I've got another one, but uh. Oh, I should go back to the other place and see if I can put it in the one guy. Ho oh, ho. Yes. Oh, I thought I did. There's nothing I can do right now, I just gotta go out and get it. So, and I, I said this in the beginning, but I figured if you're on horseback, you can actually do quite a bit. And it makes the game ten times easier to just go into battle. It's very uh, Breath of the Wild-like, the open world. Very similar in style and atmosphere and the way that they've taken to it. But... It also feels like they kind of, they knew what they were doing. I like that this game directs you more so to stuff than leaving you kind of hopeless and wandering and going, oh, what do I do? Like in Breath of the Wild. Oh, there's so many of them. Nope, 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 nope. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not dealing with that. Well, that ain't happening. With the torch. Always the worst. I wasn't even touching you. You weren't even touching me. That's what you get. This game is, I think, I wouldn't, I'm not gonna say it's easier because of that, but. There's certainly a lot less things to worry about. And. It means that death doesn't have more meaning than, oh, I have to go back in an area. Even then, like, look at the one boss. I can go right over to that guy and hit him. Plus, being on horseback really helps with this part of the game. I wonder if I could actually be on the horse while I fight the one guy. It's... Honestly, one of the things I've actually didn't think I'd uh, enjoy about this game. Was horseback combat. I like that this game makes a lot of stuff simplified, but it keeps a lot of the complexity of, like, Dark Souls. Oh, you're a boss. You're a boss. Uh, never mind. We're 
out of here. Crap, 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 crap. He's like the other guy, but just scarier. <laughs> he looks like the ring rates. Ella. Lord of the Rings. See, that's my strongest attack. Ah, oh, he's getting smart, he's dodging me. He's gone. <laughs> oh, he must be just stuck on the bridge. It's late. Oh, crap, are you kidding me? It's the guys with the torches. Always the guys with the torches. They will mess you up in these games. the game gives you for fighting enemies, as it encourages you to do more of fighting enemies and strategize through that, more so than I think the previous Souls games have. Like, there's stuff that can encourage things, but it's more optional, whereas this, it's a pretty big feature. Once you fight and defeat an enemy group, it gives you more health. Or at least it gives you more of these health files. It's also cool to have this like cavalry feel where you like run into combat on a horse and you're like, yeah! And you go in and you just slash at all the bad guys. All the enemies. Uh, bad guys is a very loose term in these games. I hate the torch guys. They can completely stop your attack and knock you off the horse if you just run near them. Like, it doesn't even seem like they have to hit you, and I've noticed that with this game more than any of the Soulsborne games. Like, uh, my last video with the Watchdog of the Earth Tree. I don't want to say it was a bullcrap fight, but he pulled some stuff that was, uh, questionable. Because I even slowed down the footage of the Watchdog fight. And again, I don't want to say there was something up with that, but it just... Uh, you want to fight? Hey, you want to fight, buddy? Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Somebody get some flex tape. I know, this game seems so much easier than the other Souls Souls games. Purely for the fact that... Yes, right as I say, it's easier. That there's a lot of stuff that's given to you, to help you, that other games will not. There's a lot of room. A lot of room. Because, uh, like, Dark Souls, Night Artorias, it was just a fight that I, for like a week straight, I just could not finish it, and I just wanted to throw my controller at the TV. It's, it's a hard fight, and it sucks. It's... Like, it grinds you down, but once you learn how to do it and you beat it, you come off respecting it. I love the design of this, though. I don't know exactly how to describe it. And even, like, the name and stuff like that, this is kind of, for me, it felt like a... Uh, because they also got George R. R. Martin, that there'd be a bit more of like a Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones feel to it, which there is. It feels like they took a lot of that. It really does feel more like a combination and culmination of every Soulsborne game for this. Um, and even going back to like Kingsfield games, which if you're really into Soulsborne, you should know what that is. If not, uh, now imagine Dark Souls on the PlayStation 4. Yeah. Up. Oh. 
here's our new friend, Mr. Kill It With Fire. And what is it gonna kill with fire? <laughs> Me. I wasn't even trying, <laughs> sorry. Uh, uh, yeah. It's a dragon. I can't actually tell you how bad this scared me when I first came across it because I was just going over this area. I'm like, oh, what's over here in this big lake? What could this be? You know, obvious boss arena. He comes in, and as I see him, breathing fire as he comes down. I mentally and almost literally crapped myself as I went, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, folks, I'm not going to beat this boss, I can tell you that, right now. Not right now. Flying dragon, I can't. Holy crap, that's most of my health. Take him, buddy. Yeah. Uh, he gets a second phase. Halfway, but then he pulls out this insane second phase a hammer and a sword that's all magic. And yeah, summon this guy. I like that in this game, summoning doesn't take anything and dying doesn't take anything away from you because you get all your health stuff back. Bloodborne was a nightmare, but at least in that game's case, you didn't have to keep flipping back through your items to get to your health. Only in, like as an optional thing, but your health was just the triangle button. You click that and you heal. Plus, you could get like 20, so you could actually have a lot at some points. Like look. So he winds up pretty slowly. Bye, Roger. It'd be funny if you could go over the cliff. Uh... Oh, crap, crap. Oh, we got him way past the mid, uh, past his middle of his health bar. He's much more dangerous now. Take him, Roger. Take him. Take him. Take him. Take him. He's trying to take down my health. I've got one health! Like someone like Knight Artorius, that was a milestone because that was like three, four days of just hours of trying to fight him and beat him in this game. Oh. And this is the first boss. I don't expect anything out of the other ones. And I'm also summoning someone. Fighting on your own, underleveled might actually be a lot worse for you, so... Yeah. This is actually a pretty good, like, real first boss.
It'd be nice if you could get them off the cliff and get them an easy kill, but I guess they learned from ceaseless discharge in Dark Souls. Game. I like all the things in it. It's not my favorite, as I've said. But... Actually, this is really good with Dark Souls. Uh, my main ploy in boss fights in that game was to just tank as many hits as I could. Okay, so fight wasn't going good. I got him down pretty far, so uh, I may have looked up just a small bit of information to know maybe where I could find something. And I had to bring you guys here for probably one of the most infamous Soulsborne characters who has appeared in every game and now makes his debut in Elden Ring. It's a nice. This would be very good to have a torch here. This usually takes me to a box. Well, well, well. Thought you'd just help yourself to a man's personal belongings, huh? You scheming little thief. The gods demand repentance! Cough up your coin! All of it! Yeah, coming from the guy who commands an army of highwaymen and generals known in each game for dropping drop kicking you down a ledge to a pit of enemies feels a bit fair oh yeah there's stealth in this game that's why nah. like make him angry because we actually need to buy things from him but you never know
Yeah, traverse the mist. This is definitely a boss fight. The guys in the beginning, if I had all my own things, I could probably take them down, but I can't get to that point because <laughs> they're hard to fight. If I run through that and try to get to that point, it probably would uh, lead to my untimely death again, because I think they could actually follow me. But we shall see. Like, yeah, see. doing a lot, but at the same time, getting nothing done at all. What? Oh, that destroys your stamina. Oh, that would suck me kicking in that. Oh, come on. Stop it. I don't trust you. Finally come round, have you? <laughs> I knew you would. You're a man of reason. True and true. Honestly, this looting racket is bloody terrifying. Frankly, I'm ready to wash my hands clean. Maybe set up a legitimate shop. No, I don't think so. Don't so don't be a stranger. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. <laughs> Uh, he's definitely not telling the truth, and I know, because he has kicked me down a well in several games. <sighs> he's also a spider. Don't forget to pop back for another visit. I'll be ready to. Okay, so I gotta go do something else. Let's go back. But yeah, so he has some stuff to fight the other guy, the big boss, which apparently is also optional. Which is making me wonder where the heck the story is actually supposed to go because almost every boss I fought is optional. Oh, then there's this guy in here. I'm gonna go do that fight really quick and show what that guy's like. Because he's pretty tough. He's more For me, it's the human enemies in these games that's the uh, real challenging parts. Because like in like in Bloodborne, all the hunters and uh, in Dark Souls, the, the knights, are the worst ones because they are they have a lot of the same moves that you do, and they're not afraid to throw it all back in your face. When they have that wind up to attack. It's probably the best time to actually try to get them. Yeah. 
usually destroy these. There we go. I hate that thing. <laughs> I hate those things. Uh, getting stabbed is not my idea of fun. Well, goodbye. back and then go back to patches and see if we can get all the things I need. What will this be? Invest in consumables, that's what it is. I. If you invest in consumables, you have more control over stuff that doesn't require skills, per se. is when he attacks me, it does a lot of bleeding damage. Definitely don't want to get greedy in this fight. Crap! Yeah, see? The shield blocks him, but it does build up the blood loss, so that's why it's important not to just keep attacking him and attacking, 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 attacking! <sighs> Good thing is, as you can see, if I'm careful, I can complete. T I can take him on. I can actually beat him. It's just in pulling together everything that I know and just doing the best, and performing the best I can at this game, which is a lot of stuff. The game does ask for a lot. So I'll get some distance. A battle of patience and a battle of wit. got him down to the last bit. I got greedy. And it kills him. Yeah, you have to have some respect for the enemies. You have to know what they can do to you, and what you can do to them. Because once you hit that balance, you can see, like, I, I've been dying to this guy so much. But I'm not frustrated, I'm not angry, because I know where I'm making mistakes. And I know specifically what it takes to beat him. I I almost did. Just one little one little move, one wrong mistake, screw up your whole thing.
one down. About to say, like, oh, did he resign himself to his fate or nope? Just resting, knowing. Oh crap, he's gonna have to deal with him. Should we get our best friend? And get ourselves some stuff to actually fight this guy. The, um, Margit. Marjorie. Yes, I'm fighting some of the boss name, Marjorie. At least that's what I'm calling it. Ah, uh, yes, and into the deep, dark caves. Is he still gonna have him attack me because he's dumb? But you know what happens when uh, he messes with me. Mm. Well, nice of you to drop in finally. It's all a bit ad hoc, but I'm sure you'll find something. And welcome to Patches Emporium. Well, you won't need a refund, because everything's top notch. I think he's gonna give us a refund even if I asked for it. Uh, let's actually sell some stuff. What the? Oh, that was from the one guy. Holy crap. Because I got that nice little sword. Yeah. I had those bandits make a clean break. Now they're all suppliers. I mean, but it hardly matters. They're all foot soldiers. Worked to the bone by their high and mighty lord. Only to be thrown out with the rubbish. <sighs> it's the same old story everywhere I go. <sighs> to hell with it all. <laughs> I guess you're asking about stuff. Wondering what's inside the treasure chest. Well, it's a... <sighs> nothing too special. Just something I'm saving as thanks for a very valuable customer. But then again, it would fetch some spectacular coin. And besides, this valuable customer could be a long time coming. I mean, huh? do you really want to take a chance? Give and take. <laughs> give <laughs> you and take. can take this guy out, really. Well, no, he actually will flatten me on my butt a few times. Yeah, this is the thing. Five thousand. That's gonna help in the fight and make it easier. It's tempting. Just, you know, I can steal it. You don't have anything else of value to me. But because I'm nice, I'm not gonna take it. It's also interesting, there isn't a lot of Metroid esque exploration in this game, at least as I've just as I've been playing so far, there hasn't been. It's been more like Legend of Zelda, where it's an open world that you explore and find little nooks and crannies with different characters and stuff. Alright. Come on, Roger. So my plan is to use this when it gets to the second part of the When it gets to the second part of the fight, I'll use that to bind him down. Because that's where it gets harder. I know I can fight him in this first part and get him down to at least half health. Two guys on him. Keeping him distracted. Chances are I'm gonna have to face him alone in this final form. For the final parts of the fight.
I still got the jellyfish on him. <laughs> Dodging backwards is a bad idea there. I'm starting to see that the hammer when it comes down. Like, I can, like, look at the health I got him. I don't I wouldn't say that's all on me, because I need my help from my jellyfish buddy and Roger. Run in my okay. Oh, that's supposed to do something. Okay, Roger's down. Getting him kind of past. I hate when I dodge, and it's like my dodge meant nothing. Getting better. I don't know how to use this stupid thing. I spent all this time and effort to buy it. If I could figure out how to use it, the fight would be so much easier. The good thing is, Jellyfish seems to poison him, and it takes his health bar down. So very close. So I'm gonna cut off this part, and yeah. So I'll see you guys later.
Oh, <laughs> I did it. Okay, not a bad fight. I actually really like that. I like when the game can come up with really interesting stuff. Now, we can head into Storm Bay. Wow. That's definitely got some blood and demon soul mashed together. It's really cool, intricate designs. I love when they like do these big, massive palaces. Alright, so, uh, what kind of horrific monsters and soldiers and stuff is gonna be inside? Uh, one way to find out. You there. C come over here, won't you? I don't think I want to. This place is scary. You're scary. You, you, you're tarnished, aren't you? Everyone keeps saying that. I would advise against taking the main gate into the castle. It's tightly guarded by hardened old hands. Oh, tr tr try the opening right here. The guards don't know about it. You'll breach the castle undetected. <sighs> Why is there so many people that I don't know if I can trust? Yes, that's the I'm spirit. going with it because I'm You're assuming. just the kind of tarnish that I like. I pray for your success. The car you slip. All right, I'm gonna be on my ready for an ambush of some kind. Well, wait. What kind of thing makes that damage? There looks like no. Oh, I'm gonna see if it happens, but uh, I'm pretty sure I know what's gonna come through here. And if not, then I'm incredibly lucky. Okay, I guess I'm lucky. I thought there would be a big ball come through. Uh, <laughs> because this, uh, these games do that kind of thing. Oh, there's a side of grace. Maybe he was right. Maybe, maybe I just have trust issues. But then again, this is the game that gave them to me, so... There's something... Uh... What are you? They put swords on a hawk. Who does that? Yeah, see that place right there? He's the starting area. For sure. That hawk is awful. Whoever came up with that kind of that concept. I know Dark Souls is known... Well, all the Souls 1 games are kind of known for having some weird ideas. But, uh... This is the first game that has some really out there and horrific idea... <laughs> horrific enemy concepts. In a game that isn't a horror game. It, it's... Which is nice, it's that's- Oh, of course! Thanks, buddy! Tell everyone I'm here. On a good face, no doubt. the thing the hawk had. Well, I can put that all down on my bucket list now. I had a sword fight with a hawk. I'm not dumb. I am not dumb. I saw the red on the barrel and I'm like, yep. Yeah, now it's really getting a Demon Souls type feel. Uh, there's a lot of Dark Souls in it as well, but I say Demon Souls because it feels more like that sort of, uh, I don't know, I just, out of it, I get demons. I don't know what to say about that. Which is a game. See, sometimes I talk faster than I really should. 
I think there's an issue with the hitboxes in this game, because sometimes it acts really weird, and I don't know if that's me not getting the game, or the game is doing some weird stuff. Oh, it's dark. Oh, that's really cool. 